strategy that I'm about to show you is a simple, powerful way to pick winning trades. It can be used to trade the Dow, Gold, Forex, and even Bitcoin. This strategy focuses on the big moves and is designed to help you avoid weak trades. And my favorite part of the strategy is that it also includes a feature to reduce false signals and low quality trades. And the process enhances your win rates. I'll show you how this strategy wins 22 out of 24 trades for 91% accuracy, going for 100, 200 point moves. So let's get right to it. This strategy uses moving averages. And if you understand basic math, you'll understand moving averages. Moving averages are basically an average set of prices, usually closing prices. So for example, a 20 period simple moving average just adds up the last 20 prices and divides it by 20. There are three types of moving averages, simple, exponential, and weighted. This particular strategy uses the simple moving average, which happens to be the most common type of moving average. Now, in terms of moving averages, most of you, if you're an experienced trader, may have used it for probably support and resistance. But did you know that moving averages can also be turned into a trading strategy? And that's the most important thing, which is being able to take traditional technical indicators and turn them into effective, usable trading strategy, which you know I am an expert doing and I'll try to teach you today. What we do want to do for this particular trading strategy is pair two moving averages, the 20 day simple moving average and the 50 day simple moving average. Using trading view charts, which are completely free and also very popular, we add the first set of moving averages by clicking on indicators. After you clicked on indicators, just type in moving average and you want the one that just has moving average cleanly. So once you do that, um, it will default to the nine moving average. Just click on the gear icon, change that to 20, and you know that you're looking at the SMA, which is what we want to look at. Then we add the second moving average. So we do the same thing, type in moving average, and then you click on the gear icon again, and you change this from nine to 50. But I'm going to also change the color so that I know which one is the 20 moving average and which one is the 50 moving average. You could change it to whatever you would like. So now I have my two sets of moving averages here. Now it's time for the secret weapon. And your secret weapon is the average directional index known as the ADX. So let's get that on our chart first. Click indicators, click ADX, average directional index and you've got that in your chart below. So for those of you that are not familiar with the average directional index, this basically measures the strength of the trends. And the benchmark that we want to use, I'm just gonna draw a horizontal line here, is 20. When the ADX is greater than 20 and ideally pointing upwards, that means the strength of the trend is strong. When ADX is below 20 and also moving lower, that means that the strength of the trend is weak. So these are the three elements on the chart that we need, which is the 20 simple moving average, the 50 simple moving average, and the average directional index. Now that you have your two moving averages and the ADX in the charts, it is time to go over the trading rules, what we're looking for in order to buy or sell. Rule number one, you wanna see the price of the instrument close above the 28 day SMA if you're looking to buy. Rule number two, make sure that it also is a trading above the 50 day SMA if you're looking to buy. And then rule number three, you wanna make sure that the ADX, the average directional index is greater than 20 and ideally pointing upwards from rising from a lower level and not falling because we want to buy volume when momentum is on our side. For short trades, it's completely opposite. You wanna see the instrument below the 20 day SMA and the 50 day SMA and but you still want ADX to be greater than 20. Now the risk management is slightly different for each instrument. And I'll show you an example of how we achieved 91% accuracy, 22 out of 24 trades in Euro, Sterling, Gold, and E-mini Dow futures. But first we need to talk about trade management, which should be the first question that you should ask whenever you learn a new trading strategy. For currencies, a stop of 100 pips would be appropriate with a first target of 100 pips and a trailing second target. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly how that works. For something like gold, $5 target works. And for E-mini Dow futures, 100 points could work as well. But we'll take a look at it in more finite detail. 
So what you see here is you see that we've got the um, 20 SMA, which is the red line, and the 50 SMA, which is the blue line, and the ADX on our chart. So what we want to do is we want to look to see if we get a setup where we basically see that the currency pair drops below the 20 SMA like it does here, and it's still below the 50 SMA. And um, if the ADX is greater than 20, then it's time to trade. And I love showing you winners as well as losers. And unfortunately, this trade is a loser, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the next example. So here we see that um, your dollar is crossing below the red line, which is the 20 SMA, but no trade here, no trade here because ADX is below 20. That's why it's your secret weapon. Here, on the other hand, we have ADX greater than 20, and we have the euro dollar crossing above the 20 SMA. So this over here is a signal to buy. So you buy here and you go long at 106.44. Your stop is 100 pips, 105.44. First target, you know, can be anywhere between 75 to 100 pips. So let's say it's 100 pips. So 106.44, we're exiting at 107.44, which actually ends up hitting first target very, very quickly um, within two days. And then you trail your stop. You can trail your stop um, any way you want. If you trail your stop by the 20 SMA, then you would exit the rest of the position at 108.42. Let's look for another example. So that's one winner, one loser. And then here, the ADX is not greater than 20, so no trade here. Here, ADX not greater than 20, no trade here. ADX here is greater than 20, and it does rally against us a little bit, but definitely not 100 pips before giving us another really nice move lower. So two out of three winners here, another one, you can see really nice winner, three out of um, uh, four winners here, we have pretty much right at 20. And this is a tough trade. Maybe you would have taken it, maybe you wouldn't have, but if you did, it would have been four out of five winners here, not a trade, even though it was a winner because ADX is below 20. Then over here, no trade ADX below 20. That's a, even though that was a winner here. Let's see what would have happened. We sold here at 110.51 and the low here is 109.44. So another 100 pips achieved five out of six winners using this trading strategy and setup. ADX shelters us for any of these false signals. Um, and then we have another really beautiful signal here at um, in this trade. So six out of seven winners. I mean, that's basically the odds I want to see. You know, the first one was a loser, but the rest were all winners. Now let's take a look at the pound dollar, sterling. Sterling here. Okay, so sterling, let's see where our trading setups are. So let's draw our horizontal line for the 20 ADX here. And unfortunately, we really don't have too much time above 20 here. You know, we have no setups when ADX is above 20, but you know, when it's rare, it might be uh, particularly good. So here also ADX um, below 20, so no trades here. Um, so finally, in this zone here, we see ADX um, greater than 20. So here we have one winner um, here because we sold at 111.63, went below 110. So definitely a winner there. Um, here, no trade. Here, another winner, two out of two winners, exactly the odds that I like to see. Um, and then, you know, really close call here. Three, probably over here, three out of three winners exactly what we want to see here as well and you know here the adx um so basically three out of three winners in pound dollar let's take a look at gold gold um going back to the current charts with gold um we are looking for adx greater than 20 as well so i'll demarcate our adx here so here we have one trade that's a winner one out one we um, set a $5 target for first target of gold. You can trail your stop and your uh, stop is at $10. It doesn't go anywhere backwards to stop you out. So that's one winner. Here, ADX is not greater than 20. Um, there are no trades over here. Here, we do have a trade. This one stops you out. That's okay. So one out of two. Let's see what else we've got. Um, no trading opportunities over here. Here's a winner two out of three that's what i like to see here's another winner three out of four that's exactly what i like to see no trades over here because adx is low and then over here four out of five another really nice winner 
um, on this trade setup here in gold. And lastly, with um, E-mini Dow futures, let's take a look at how this would have performed. So with E-mini Dow futures, going back to the current charts and demarcating 20, you can see, um, and let's take a look, where are our trading opportunities? No trades over here. Um, here, we do have one trade. We go in at 33.929, 34.929 is our stop. This one does not work out, so one loser. But that's okay because, you know, ADX was pointing lower. It wasn't a great quality trade. Um, here, we do have a short setup here, 32.258. And it does go a little bit in our favor. So now let's take a look at E-mini Dow futures. Um, E-mini Dow futures, we want to look at this on a one hour chart. Also, gold works really well on a one hour chart as well. Um, so we've got a 20 here. So here we have got a trade signal. So we go short at 34,100. Now, since we're trading one hour charts, you have to be more conservative with your target. Uh, but you can see this becomes a really nice, beautiful trade here. Here's another really nice setup. This setup gives us at least, you know, we're shorting at 34,236. So it's going to be um, at least an easy 34,236 you know, at least an easy um, 20 points. So now we're looking at E-mini Dow futures and we're looking at the one hour charts. I like it a lot on one hour charts. So here we have one setup where it crosses below the um, 20 SMA, we're below the 50 SMA. So we short basically a 34,050 um, and it goes down, you know, to 33,850. So 150 points there. Here is another setup. We short at 34, thousand um 140 and it becomes a very beautiful move so two for two we here we're selling at 34 236 another beautiful move three for three here's another setup another beautiful move four for four here in the ym let's see if we have any other setups to the long side no trade setups here to the long side no trade setups here um here we have some long signals this is one long signal it becomes a beautiful trade up here five for five and um, this is another long signal. You know, obviously this um, is unusual because it's a gap up, but six for six, you know, here, this, even if you took this one, it would have worked out. Um, and you can see just even this short signal here, um, ADX greater than 20, we would have sold at 33,594 and it went to 33,448. Um, so another, you know, six for six, just countless examples of, you know, consistent winners using this strategy. And as I said, gold can also be used to trade one hour charts too. Um, and you can see that uh, it can work really well here. We have a nice gold trade over here. Here's another nice gold short trade. Here's another nice gold short trade. So it's a really, really great strategy. And, you know, if you add up these numbers, you know, we've got a lot more, you know, easily we've got 22 out of 24 trades, which just gives us 91% accuracy. And we actually have a lot more than that. So you can see for yourself on the charts that this is a very powerful strategy. So why does the strategy work so well? The answer lies in the mechanics. By buying above the 20 SMA, you're aligning yourself with the short-term trends. By making sure that you only trade when the 20 SMA is above the 50 SMA, that makes sure that you're aligning yourself with the long-term trends. And the ADX, your secret weapon, tells you what the strength of market momentum is. And you would need market momentum to be strong to carry the trade to your target. This strategy works really well for Euro dollar and dollar yen, the two most actively traded currency pairs. But I'll be frank, for pairs like dollar yen and Aussie dollar, they don't have enough momentum to take the trade into your profit targets. This strategy is great for positional traders, but in my next video, I'm going to release a strategy for day traders. So I just reveal to you how combining moving averages with ADX can give you a high win rate. All I ask for you in return is take two seconds of your time and like this video. And if you want to stay up to date with my strategies, make sure you subscribe to our channel and don't miss my next strategy for day traders. See you next time.